Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about percentage yield. So let's say we have the question, calculate the mass of chlorine that can be formed from 60 grams of sodium chloride. Now this is very similar to reacting masses. Just like before, we're going to write down mass of and grams of. So it's about chlorine and sodium chloride. Those are our two main chemicals. Then we're going to create a table with mass and moles. And then we're going to write down sodium chloride and chlorine because those are the two chemicals we identified. Now we already know the mass of sodium chloride, it's 60 grams, and we want to work out the mass of chlorine. So first of all, let's convert mass into moles by dividing by the relative formula mass of sodium chloride. This means one sodium and one chlorine. So using the periodic table, so we're going to write down the mass of chlorine and sodium. So it's, that's 23 plus 35.5, which, which gives us a total number of 58.5. Okay, so we're going to do 60 divided by 58.5, and that gives us 1.03 moles. So now that we have the moles of sodium chloride, let's work out the moles of chlorine. To do that, we're going to use the big numbers to work out the ratio. So as you can see, it's a two to one ratio, two sodium chlorides for one chlorine. That means we're dividing the number of moles by two. So we're going to do the same thing down here, do 1.03 divided by two, and that gives us 0.52 moles. Next, to convert that into mass, we're going to times it by the MR of chlorine. So remember, chlorine is 35.5, since we have two chlorines in Cl2, that means we're going to have to times them by two. So that gives us a number of 71. So the MR of chlorine of Cl2 is 71. Again, moles times MR gives you mass. And finally, that gives us 36.9 grams. So we know that for 60 grams of sodium chloride, we get 36.9 grams of chlorine. Okay, here's the next part of the question. 35 grams of chlorine was formed. Calculate the percentage yield. So to work out yield, we're going to use this formula. A percentage yield is equal to actual mass divided by theoretical mass. Now, theoretical mass is the mass that we get by doing our molar calculations. So we got 36.9 in the previous part of the question. And the actual mass is what you get in real life by doing the experiment. Now, a clue, actual mass will always be smaller than theoretical mass. So we're always going to do the big number at the bottom and the small number at the top. So putting the numbers in gives us 35 over 36.9. So that gives us a final answer of 94.9% yield. Remember, if you ever get more than 100% yield, that means you've, pro you've probably put the numbers the wrong way around. Okay, let's try another question. Calculate the mass of iron that can be formed from 156 grams of iron oxide. Again, mass of and grams of to help us identify which chemicals to use for our calculation. So that means iron and iron oxide are the main chemicals. Again, we're going to make our table. We're going to write down iron oxide and iron. Now, it doesn't matter which way you write them, by the way. You could put iron on the left and iron oxide on the right. So... Then we're going to write down the mass of what we already know. So we already know that we have 156 grams of iron oxide, but we don't know the mass of iron. Okay, so first of all, let's convert that into moles by dividing by the relative formula mass. So using the periodic table, we can see that the mass of iron is 56 and oxygen is 16. However, in iron oxide, we have two ions and three oxygens. So that means we're going to do 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3, which gives us a final relative formula mass of 160 for iron oxide. So mass divided by molar mass or relative formula mass will give us moles, which is 0 0.975. Okay, next, we have to work out the moles of iron. To do that, we're going to use the big numbers. So it's a 1 to 2 ratio. That means we're timesing our moles by 2. So again, times it by 2 and that gives you 1.95 moles. The final part is to turn that into mass. So we have to times it by the atomic mass or the molecular mass. So iron is 56 
we have only one ion. So 56 times 1 is basically just 56. So times your moles by 56 and you should get an answer of 109.2 grams. Okay, so 156 grams of iron oxide gives us 109.2 grams of iron. Here's the next part. 90 grams was formed in this reaction. Calculate the percentage yield. So again, we're going to use our formula, actual mass divided by theoretical mass. We know that actual mass is what we get in by doing the real experiment. So we actually got 90 grams. But of course, we knew that we could have got 109.2. That's our theoretical mass. So we're going to do 90 divided by 109.2 times by 100 because it's a percentage. And that gives you 82.4%. So that is the yield for this reaction. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.